All right, uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over um, explaining how I created uh, the structure um, using Clelia, using rainflow analysis. I'm going to start doing some rainflow analysis over the surface, um, move into doing analysis on top of the rainflow to see um, which areas are going to need the most structure. Uh, from there, I'm going to do uh, another simulation using Clelia to generate that structure and then use uh, our marching birds and weaker birds components to, um, to kind of mesh out that structure. So here I'm just going to start with some analysis. Now that that's done, I can reset my simulation because I have this uh, data recorded. And now I'm going to go into uh, some analysis. Um, so here I'm going to be looking at uh, kind of where the density of curves lies the most. And we're going to get um, now uh, we're going to visualize uh, where on that surface we're going to need the most. support structure. So here you can see this area over here and over here where the water flow is flowing more. Uh, we might need more structure in those areas. Um, so now uh, I'm going to run uh, another simulation. Uh, this is going to be uh, more of a flocking simulation looking at, um, you know, we're going to have more points, more emission points on the, on the panels that have more water flowing over them. Let's see if we can make this one run. So this is just using two simple rules, which is just kind of cohes and also uh, arrive. So now that they are arriving at uh, the same, uh, they're kind of looking for their closest point and then uh, seeking it, uh, but also stopping when they get there. So that generates us um, this, these white lines here, like that. Um, and the branching is thanks to the cohes voice. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to wrap that with a uh, ISO surface with a mesh. So this is the support structure um, that was generated. Uh, using that a rainflow analysis combined with kind of the structural analysis form generation uh, and then a kind of mesh wrapping so this is very organic and it's you know I think that uh, you know this could apply in a lot of different ways depending on kind of what is driving the support structure but uh, I think definitely using uh, weaver bird and marching cubes um, to kind of fill in uh, the, that curve data is a great way to take um, the path deviations and turn them into 3D geometry. So there you go.